What is up guys, you've got the oracle there back for round one with this stupid uh, um, re red green deck with a bunch of creatures. I'm on draw, my hand is quite slow, I think I'll still keep it. Uh, I have quite a lot of things I could draw. Uh, I have a turn 5 um, Hellkite. Hopefully the other one doesn't make a really aggressive and fast start, but I think it is still a keep. It's not too too amazing. But I think it's good enough that I'm gonna keep. Also, even if the opponent makes a rather aggressive start, Alice Watcher can buy me a bit of time, so there is that too. Um, so yeah, not too thrilled about this hand. The good news is that with those land I can cast pretty much anything in my deck that go doesn't cost more. Uh, I guess uh, because of the Watcher I can actually cast anything almost. I drew a Lone Larva though, which is not great. Uh, if... alright got a cavalry though. I think I'll... hmm. <laughs> Given the Elkite and the cavalry, I think I'm actually fine fetching a mountain despite having three lands in hand. Yeah, I think I'll do that actually. <laughs> Most of the time you don't want to <laughs> take too many lands, but uh, I think here it seems fine. Alright. <laughs> bit weird to Fetch lands of the fetch land of that given uh, the amount I have access to currently. Anyway, the opponent plays a creature. I would assume an infiltrator. All right. Well, that's fine. Not too threatening currently. Guess I'll play my mountain. I will attack. I cannot block. The opponent might take the damage if they really need the ingest and fear um, a potential uh, strike that give plus 3 plus 1 they will take and they did take damages so I basically gain one damage, one damage here uh, of nothing. Um, As the opponent will most likely attack for one here and ingest something, hopefully not a creature or a spell. And mountain is good, I would not be happy to draw that too too much. Um, I draw a lag egg, which is actually quite good. Um, I'm gonna attack with my larva, play the eyeless watcher, if my opponent does have a counter spell, oh well. Uh, not much I can do, it's fine. If they wanna bounce my larva on the top of my library, it's fine too. Um, any type of um, counter spell is a bit annoying, but a counter spell here means no counter spell for my uh, Dragon and for my cavalry, so there is that too. Next turn, I could sacrifice both token, play the Hellkite, and use the ability. I'm not sure how good it is. Uh, maybe that keeping creatures around is nice for the Glade Heart too. Um, anyway, I think I like my chances there. Things are looking quite good for me. I even place that and. Past the turn, no, I mean, past the the the, the mana at least. All right, we drew another lagak. How? That's quite good. I think I'll I'll, I'll postpone the 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 hellkite. Given the lagak, I feel like uh, just using that and pumping my creature and attack is 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 fine. I think I'll if this resolves, I will target larva and watcher quite clearly. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Um, I could see my opponent using a um, bounce spell on the larva next turn, but actually I don't mind. I mean, uh, using the, um, the three mana put on the top of your library and an attacking creature on the larva, but I, if he does that I don't mind it even too too much. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I. That's what I was talking about. Um, it is just fine, honestly. Uh, given the Hellkite and the cavalry, I just don't mind drawing more lands at all. That's that's yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, I guess the opponent is gonna draw a card there, which is rather annoying. Not much I can do though. And at least he eats my thing, which you know was quite a medium draw. But the combination of those two is going to be annoying and provide my opponent with a bunch of card advantage. I drew Oath of Chandra though, which actually doesn't kill much. Um, so 
So I could Lagak attack with the whole squad, and my opponent is likely to block one and think that I'm just suicide attacking to get damage, and then I can kill it off the host. I think it is a fine play. Um, I kind of want to be able to eat a land the same turn I played Hellkite, um, and I don't think I mind trading. Uh, Um, <clears throat> I'll buff the Lagak, I think, and the one of my Scion, and I'll attack with the whole squad. If my opponent takes all the damage, it's fine too. Uh, it is quite a bit of damages, so that, that'd be fine, honestly. He blocks there pretty much as I expected. No, no blocks, never mind. Blocks, no blocks, yeah, he blocks, okay. He or she blocks, I guess, actually. Shouldn't suppose that it's uh, a male that I'm facing. Anyway, I, I'll be able to kill that now, which is great news. And the opponent is left with a Bantic facing a decent amount of uh, creature there. And I have two <laughs> really sweet cards in hand. Uh, cavalry is likely to be great this game. Elkite 2, things are just looking great. Wanna win yet can't. <laughs> it's a funny, funny nickname. Um, cast the opponent, okay, well, that's fine with me. <laughs> I don't mind you uh, using that. Revealing a Merc Strider and bouncing. He cannot rebounce. Really I don't think he ever wants to bounce that or this, so uh, the, the Merc Strider doesn't even look too, too great. Um, Alright. I drew connections there. Could play the Gladeheart Cavalry of my token. That seems quite bad though. Rather an exciting. I think I'll take the Hellkite, my opponent will Merc Strider it. And yeah. Could it just connection? That I could also connection. Mm. Kinda wanna hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll play the Elkite, and if my opponent uses the Merc Strider on it, oh well. Oh well, not much I can do about that. I mean, this Merc Strider will be decent at some point, so... Uh, I could have played Natural Connection, so my opponent doesn't have any play, maybe, but... Uh, this 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 would bounce the Hellkite at some point, and now, if I draw for um um <coughs> A uh, mountain. I, I can recast it. I, I can cast it and, and ping something basically. Um, that being said, Gladeheart Cavalry might be a better play there. No, probably not. Um, should I attack though? Don't think so. I think I'll just replay my Hellkite. Given the cavalry, I'm not really willing to make any trade. Um, guess I'll ping the opponent and just pass the turn. <coughs> and next turn, if I draw a land, I can kill something a bit bigger uh, with connection. Maybe I also have the cavalry, obviously. Uh, I'd be sad if the opponent used uh, witness the end there and remove two cards from my hand. But it seems like a 5-6 drop actually is entering the battlefield. And he still continues to attack. Alright, well I guess he ingested mostly land so far. Which is obviously nice for me. So I think I'll take the occasion of my opponent being tapped out to just play my cavalry. And start the beat down, basically. One, two, three, four, I guess. All right. Could have played uh, Sentinel first. I don't think I gain a lot by doing that, though. And at this point, I guess I can uh, only attack with my Dragon, actually. But the opponent taking the damage is there is quite threatening for them, given this ability. 
and the fact that I have connections, so it's fine. When, when you are playing your rares and they don't get removed from the game, most of the time you are in a decent spot. As the opponent didn't do much except for, you know, doing some a bit of removal and dealing a bit of damage with the infiltrator. Uh, the good thing now is that any land is good, but uh, right, okay. Well, that's a lot of tempo for my opponent. Not sure that it's gonna be enough to really do much, but yeah. But we will see, I guess. Alright, alright, he got a Grove Rambler. I drew a Scion Summoner. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind drawing lands at that point. Um, well, I guess the best thing I, I, can, think I can do is playing the Hellkite. Yeah, I could also Elkite and uh, Sentinel of the Scion, that doesn't seem great though. I'm a bit worried that, I, that I'll that i get tempoed out. Um, I could also just play Gladeheart Cavalry, actually this is much better, yeah. Uh, yeah, that seems just so much better. I, I play Gladeheart, attack with both. He has to most likely make the trade here and go to one. I don't think he can afford to go to one because of the Hellkite. Yeah, that seems that seems great. And if we trade, I gain life off the Gladeheart. Uh, yeah, that's actually the, the better play I can make. Alright, as this Lagak is soon gonna be <laughs> big enough that uh, the coil is not gonna matter anymore, which is <laughs> rather funny. Um, Alright. So I guess he will do that and go... No, okay, chumps, nice. So I guess I'll go to 14 there, which is nice. And the opponent is still facing a 6-6, six, six, a 4-4, four, four, and I have a bunch of threat in hand. Uh, we'll see what he does, though. Vampire M5, alright. He has to chump that each turn, and that too. Cannot afford to go to 1 because of the Hellkite. I mean, the game is not over, but things are not looking great for our our opponent. Warden of Geometries doesn't help much either. Guess I'll take three there. I drew a mountain. That's quite nice. I guess I'll attack with both of my creatures and see what happens. He's likely to double jump. Yup, pretty much what I expected. Um, guess I play. Uh, no, I I I didn't talk anymore. Anyway, so I'll play that. Ping my opponent for two. Play the Kozilek dude, and that should pretty much seal the deal, honestly. The fact that I drew 7 land, I guess 9 actually, but 9 land and mostly spells uh, was quite great. If I'm not flooded or mana screwed, my deck is pretty hard to beat because I'm not playing a bunch of removal, but my my threat, uh, <laughs> my threat level is quite high. Um, Alright, so we managed to game, win game 1 against a blue-black deck. I don't think I have anything that kills Flyer currently. Um, Gambit doesn't seem great. Uh, natural state, deal with Titan calls and potential uh, membrane, but I don't think that's enough to. I, I've seen only uh, a coil so far. I think that's not enough to make me want to side in that. Vine is decent against Flyer though. I might want that. And that might be the only card I, I will side in. Not sure what I can side out though. Don't think I want to side out any of my two drops. Uh, I, there, there's really nothing I want to cut. Um, yeah, <laughs> I cannot cut anything. That uh, maybe the mouth, cause like actually, is one of the weaker card I have. 
I've seen two flyers though. Nah, I'll keep the deck the way it is. This is a perfect deck. <laughs> I may be joking, obviously. Uh, I think it is strong, but the fact that it's uh, lacking removal makes it a bit less happening. My hand is great though. Two land, a removal that I can cast, more removal, a bit of attacking surprise, uh, potential turn for Tyrant. Uh, things just look great. Um, as the opponent mold to 6 on the play, which is never a good news. Uh, so at this point, I need lands basically. But even if I miss on land a little bit, I think Oath of Chandra should provide me with uh, enough time to draw uh, the lands I win. I, I need anyway, so I don't feel too, too threatened. I think I'm gonna Chandra that thing away, uh, especially since I didn't draw land. Uh, I might just lose. Like if the opponent, uh, opponent plays a three-drop creature next turn, four-drop creature next turn, and I miss on land two times in a row, I, I will, I will just lose. Uh, but uh, my my hand was definitely a keep. There's not much questions there. Uh, but sometimes you know, you never draw lands, and uh, you cannot do much. As the opponent plays an amazing. Bantic Infiltrator, okay. Well, that's not killing me too fast. If it eats all my lands, though, I'll be a bit mad. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I guess I'll pass the turn there. The fact that I hit the third uh, land drop is great. Depending on what my opponent does, I might either Connection or Vile Redeemer. Uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. Vile Redeemer forces that thing to stay back and not attack. He ate a mountain. I mean, it ate a mountain. I guess is the right pronoun. As we see, we saw drone there. All right. He might want to attack with that next turn, so I think I'll connection there. If I get a land on my draw step, fine. Uh, I'll play my uh, pass warden. If I don't, I'll keep the value redeemer available. I do bailout pop. I will just F6 though. That might be a bit obvious, but File Redeemer is not the card you play around most of the time, I would say. And yeah. I'll try to eat that Cultivate Drone. We'll see how it will work. The opponent might just have a Rimvol or a Counter Spell, or might just kill that, which would be amazing. All right, well, no counter spell at least, but a removal. Okay, well, sure, 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 sure. I guess I'll go to 16 there. He ate a bailout now, which is a good spell, but I, I honestly, I'd rather just draw a land at that point. If he plays another creature, okay, <laughs> okay, all right. Things should be fine since if I ever draw a land, my opponent will have to deal with two password and barrage. Barrage Tyrant with those, so things are looking good. And even if I miss on land, I can just play that, jump here, and I'm not under much pressure, so yeah. <laughs> My hand is so fat. <laughs> this is one of the fattest deck I ever built. No, it's probably the fattest deck I, I, I ever built in Oath of the Gatewatch, actually. And I drew my fifth land, and I think that should pretty much seal the deal. I don't see how my opponent is coming back here. If he draws a clutch of the current, bounce my feeling, attack for six, well, that might be annoying. That aside, I think uh, he's in a really bad spot. He or she is in a really bad spot. Uh, as here, I'll attack with that. Oh, he might have the bounce spell. No, he didn't draw that. I'll play another one. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> that's probably not good for the opponent. Yeah, I'm getting drained by by that thing, but I don't feel too threatened. Uh, he ate two of my good six drop. Uh, that aside, you know things are looking great for me. Looming spire. Well, I guess one of my thing is gonna be beer, but my well actually cannot really block there. It does have trample anyway, so. Yeah. 
I have no idea how, what kind of card could make my opponent come back. I guess he, didn't, he needs actually one land to be able to Rolling Waters, but even then, I, I think I'll still be in a decent -y shape. As we are waiting for that Looming Spire triggered ability to resolve for unknown reason. The opponent might I give up, I'm not sure. I'd be happy if we can <laughs> finish this game quickly. I don't think that you need one minute to think about the Looming Spire trigger right now. Well, I might pause the video if this goes a bit longer. Not my favorite thing to do because uh, then I have to edit uh, to pull back things together or to upload different videos. But apparently uh, the opponent finally moved and we are hitting them for 9, actually 11. Let me count that right. And I guess I'll play Barrage Tyrant. Blue, black, there's no wrath ex except in white, so no reason to not play my things. Um, and yeah, yeah. Rolling Waters would buy a bit of time to my opponent, but yeah, no Rolling Waters is pretty much game over. And I can draw, I can throw that, and even now I can throw the Vile Redeemer at my opponent. And I don't think they have enough block. Because they will take one, three, go to one, and jump here. Yeah, that's the thing that is more likely to happen. I could also stone fury the Bantic and have a lethal damage of Trampler, I guess. But um, attacking and sending a Vile Redeemer at my open face seems a bit funnier. It also means that I can keep keep my stone fury around if the opponent does have something. Uh, that being said, I'm not sure why this is taking so much time. The opponent might have started another draft because he felt he was losing. And that's a bit annoying, <laughs> but there's not much I can do. Um, since he, this might be quite long, and since the opponent doesn't do much, I think I'll just... No, okay. If I can attack, I I'll attack, but I, I was ready to just stop the video and... Uh, because I don't think there's a way, in, a world in which my opponent wins there. So, all right, he goes to one there. I can cast that during the damage step because it's cool and fun. And throw that at my opponent. All right. Alright, so that's gonna be game. Um, yeah, the deck is quite good. I had a good draw, so things went well. I hope you enjoyed, and I see you guys for round two. As my open head is quite awful. He drew a lot of land, which is always not the best thing. Anyway, uh, I guess I see you guys for round two.